So I finally got my update to One UI 5.0 on my Galaxy Z Fold 4. And I know it's been released out for a bit, but I just got my OTA as of me recording this video. So as I was using the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and the new update, I wanna share some of the features that I found and give you guys my thoughts about the Galaxy Z Fold 4, one of my favorite devices. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So let's get into some of the things that I found with the new One UI 5.0 Android 13 on the Galaxy Z Fold 4. First, let's talk about the build number. The ending build number here for this update for my version is DWA2 Android 13. And I'm on the security patch January of 2023 as of me recording this video. So the first thing that I saw when I got this update was in connections. Now there's a new toggle that's called ultra wide band, which identified the precise location of nearby devices. You know what? You could turn this toggle off and on if you like. So that's something new that I found. Next, in advanced features, labs is now at the top. So when you click on it, there's two new toggles. Swipe uh, for pop-up view and swipe for split screen. So when you click on each one of them, right, you get a nice animation tutorial, which is really nice. So this is a really good look here to help people that's fresh with the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Next, when you pull down your notification shade, you see that it's nice and clean. The notifications is a, a, a very clean. Uh, and now you can slightly pull down each notification to get relevant information. Now the, I, the app icons are much bigger and the text is now aligned very well for good reading. So overall, the uh, pull down notification shade is an overall clean look in One UI 5.0. Next, there's more customization and on your lock screen from clock styles to color. Now you can make more changes now on your lock screen and it's pretty neat. Next, in the wallpaper setting, you get a good clean look. It gives you all the options in one settings, such, such as featured, your gallery, graphical, colors, wallpaper services, and any Galaxy themes that you already download. So this area right here is very clean, a good look for Samsung. Next, in the camera app, in promo, it's a nice clean look with all your settings on the side. There's a new toggle uh, to slide up and down to zoom in and out, also for manual focus. But if you click on manual focus, there's three toggles now. You have manual, multi, and center. But if you want to know information about each toggle, there's an information toggle that lets you know which each setting does. So that is a good look. Now, this new sliding feature can be used in photos, also in pro photos, but you can use it in photos and the regular camera mode. So uh, that's very good. Also, now there's a histogram that's available to help you get the perfect exposure in the Pro Camera app, also in Pro Video. And lastly, now you can add a watermark to your photos, which is a very good update. 
to the Canva app. It's a lot more, but these are some of the standout updates that I found with the Canva app. Next, Samsung Dex, something that I've been using pretty much every day. I've been, I found that the performance has been vastly improved overall. It's more snappy now than ever. Plus there's some subtle additions, such as a mini calendar is now available right here on the side when you click on the date. Next, there's a search toggle that has been added to make it easier to find apps that you want. Instead of going through all the apps here, you can go down and do a search for all the apps that you want. And lastly, I'm seeing using the Galaxy Z Fold 4 uh, as a mouse and keyboard is a whole lot better and accurate. It's more smoother now than ever. And you know what you got to understand? I use Dex almost every day, countless of hours. So I'm glad to see some of these improvements and some of the added features to Samsung Dex. I'm glad that Samsung is making the Dex experience a whole lot better. And lastly, with this update is overall performance. This is one of the reasons why I always preach about keeping your current devices because they get better over time. Look, I've been preaching about this for a very long time, how older devices do get better with time. You think about it. When devices first can't come out, right? They good. But if you hold on to them for a while and get update after update and you get, you know, OS updates and enhancements, it gets better with time. It's refreshing to a lot of people that didn't upgrade. That's really good because you get the same experience that the Galaxy Z Fold 4 is giving you. You know, you know just by waiting, just by holding on to your older devices and getting all the software updates, you would get that same experience like no other and save money at the end of the day. So if you have a Galaxy Z Fold 4 or if you got a Galaxy Z Fold 3, utilize the device for what it is. Look, don't get caught up in all the hype when the newer devices come out. I mean, it's good to be hype about it, but you know what? You can save a lot of money just by holding on to the older devices and waiting on the new updates and you're gonna get everything that the newer device has is gonna get trickled down to the older device. You know what? That's called savings. That's called utilizing the device for what it is. So I'm sure there's a lot more features that I missed in this video. Remember, I just upgraded my Galaxy Z Fold 4 to One UI 5 and these are some of the things I found so far. You know what? If you wanna see more Galaxy Fold videos, I have a playlist. Click the videos right there. Click that playlist right there and see all the cool videos that I got with the Galaxy Z Fold 4. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.